Oh, uh, very well. If you're so keen on separating, fine. But remember, you suggested it. I never said I wanted to separate from you. If I had, I wouldn't be here right now. You, on account for your love for me, have tyrannized over me, bothered badging me, and nagged me for 15 years. You have interfered with my time and strength and prevented me from accomplishing great works for the good of humanity. You have crushed my soul which longs for serenity and peace with your perpetual complaining. But you see, my dear, I am more philosophical than you, and I recognize all this as a necessity. Men and women are natural enemies, like cat and dog, only more so. They are forced to live together for a time or this wonderful race couldn't go on. In addition, in order to have the best children, men and women of totally opposite temperaments must live together. The shock and flame of two hostile temperaments meeting is what produces fine children. Well, we have fulfilled our fate and produced our children and they are good ones. But really, to accept us or to live in peace together? We as different as fire and water, or sea and land? Is that too much? <laughs> Thank you all for listening. I was doing the play Enemies by Neath Voice and Hodgkin's Hopgood. And I was playing as the actor she actress, she. Thank you.